Christ the Lord is risen today. Alleluia. All on earth with angels say, Alleluia. Raise your joys and triumphs high. Alleluia. Sing, O heavens and earth, reply. Alleluia. Lives again our glorious King. Alleluia. Where, O oh, death, is now your sting. Once he died our souls to save, Alleluia. Where your victory, O grave, Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And as we begin uh, during the uh, Easter season, we uh, do a remembrance of what the weather has been and will be. We're going to bless ourselves with water. This is the only day apparently that we're not going to get wet outside. So we will be getting wet inside as we recall our baptism. We pray, Lord God, Almighty, creator of all life, we ask you to bless this water that we use in faith. Forgive our sins. Save us from all illness and from the power of evil. Lord, in your mercy, give us living water, always springing up as a fountain of salvation. Free us, body and soul, from every danger, and admit us to your presence and purity of heart. Grant this through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing number 97, With Joy You Shall Draw Water, 97. With joy you shall draw water From the springs of endless life With joy you shall draw water From the living well of God God indeed is my Savior I will never be afraid my strength and courage is the Lord, my Savior and my song. With joy you shall draw water from the springs of endless life. With joy you shall draw water from the living well of God. Give thanks and praise the name of God. Sing out to all the earth the wondrous deeds that God has done, our Savior and our song. With joy you shall draw water from the springs of endless life. With joy you shall draw water from the living well of God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria, Gloria, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good. 
goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, our God Almighty Father, Gloria, Gloria, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Gloria, Gloria, glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Gloria, Gloria, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. And let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. We ask this in all things through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the captain and the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priests questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given those who obey him. The Sanhedrin ordered the apostles to stop speaking in the name of Jesus and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm is number 42. I will praise you, Lord. 42. I will praise you, Lord. You have rescued me. 
I will praise you, Lord, for your mercy. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for your mercy. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me and have not let my enemies rejoice over me. O oh Lord, you have raised my soul from the dead, restored me to life from those who sink into the grave. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for your mercy. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord. Sing psalms to the Lord, you who love him. Give thanks to his holy name. His anger lasts but a moment, his favor through life. At night there are tears, but joy comes with dawn. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for your mercy. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord. The Lord listened and had pity. The Lord came to my help. For me you have changed my mourning into dancing. O oh Lord my God, I will thank you forever. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for your mercy. I will praise you, Lord, you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and heard the voices of many angels who surrounded the throne and the living creatures and the elders. They were countless in number, and they cried out in a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing. Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth, and under the earth and in the sea, everything in the universe cry out, To the one who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb be blessing and honor, glory and might, forever and ever. The four living creatures answered, Amen, and the elders fell down and worshipped. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to God's name. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to God's name. Spread the good news o'er all the earth. Jesus has died and has risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to God's name. 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together were Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathaniel from Cana of Gal in Galilee, Zebedee's sons, and two other disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will also come with you. So they went out and got into the boat. But that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore. But the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you will find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and he jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging a net with the fish. When they climbed out on the shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in a like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than more than these? Simon Peter answered, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. Jesus said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that Jesus had, had said this to him for a third time. Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you, when you, are, when you were younger, you used to dress yourselves and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. There uh, was a guy down at the lake fishing, and somebody came up and uh, asked him how the fishing was going, and he said, well, I just got here, but uh, yesterday I caught 40 big ones. And the guy said to him, do you know who I am? And he said, no. The guy said, well, I'm the game warden. So the fisherman said to the warden, Do you know who I am? And the warden said, No. And the guy said, I'm the biggest liar this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> well, that would tie in to the part of the gospel talking about the fishing. But actually what I wanted to talk about is the last part of the gospel where... Jesus asks the same question 
three times. Now, sometimes older people do that because they keep forgetting what you said. But I don't think that was the case with Jesus. He asked basically the same question three times to Peter. And Peter gets a little bit upset when he keeps asking the same question. But three times he asks it to remind Peter how easy it was three times to deny that he even knew him. And instead of being angry with him, or instead of saying, I told you so, he just asks three times, do you really love me? A very gentle way of pointing out to Peter how easy it is to say something and how difficult it might be to follow through on that. It doesn't just end there, though. After Jesus points this out to Peter, then he also points out to him what's going to be coming yet. You see how easy it was that you failed a few days ago. Well, there's going to be more things happening in your life. And so he's challenging him. Now, we know that Peter did go on and profess the faith and ultimately would die crucified upside down in Rome. So he was able to do all of that after he came to realize how easy it was to fail. And so when we stand before the Lord and pray this day, it should be with that realization that none of us are perfect. All of us will find it very easy at times to fail. God isn't necessarily going to get angry or even think in terms of punishing us as much as hoping that we come to realize how easy it is to say something, how hard it is to follow through on that, and then find the power of grace to be able to go out and make a difference. So that's why Jesus is asking the question three times. He knew the answer. But he wanted Peter to understand how easy it is to just throw off the question. Think about it deeply. Realize how easy it is that we can fail. And God isn't even so much concerned with how many times we fail. But he is concerned that we learn and find the power of his grace to go out and really make a difference. That's why he gently asks three times, Do you love me? And so we stand to profess our faith, and we're asked... Uh, during this uh, Easter time, instead of the traditional long creed that we get, we're invited to use the Apostles' Creed, which most of you would be familiar with when you pray the rosary. So we will pray together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion Amen. of saints, the forgiveness, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We have all seen the work of the Lord in the world around us and in each other. So we take the time now to call upon the Lord to continue to look with favor on us 
and on the world. Hear our prayer, hear our prayer, God of mercy, hear our prayer, hear our prayer, hear our prayer, God of mercy, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, following the steps of St. Peter, that he may continue to tend the sheep of his flock with love and compassion. For policymakers and elected officials, may God bless their work in protecting the dignity and the sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. For all members of this faith community, may God strengthen us in our witness to his saving love. For all who are estranged from the Christian family, that they may find reconciliation and peace. For our children who are receiving the Eucharist for the very first time, may they return to the table of the Lord each week in order to receive his love and the strength needed to live as his disciples. For all who have died this past week, Ellis Burns, Ellis Stiedemann, and Catherine Nuss, and especially for those who remembered at this Mass, Sandy Bebo. For all of our own personal petitions, which we place before the Lord from the silence of our hearts. For these, we pray. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you sent your Son and the Holy Spirit to us to redeem us, to sanctify us, to show your great love for us. Listen to the prayers of your people and grant them according to your will through Christ our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join in singing number 949. Alleluia, sing to Jesus. 949. Our food, our 
sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. And receive, O Lord, we pray these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. We ask all this in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to praise you yet more gloriously when we remember that Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising has, uh, to life has also helped to rise our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise, even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the is he who comes in the name, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all that you have created can rightly give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things. You make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, this pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and he gave it to us, his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing. 
And he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. And therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son and his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son, may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and the martyrs, with all of the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and in charity your pilgrim church here on earth, with your servant, Pope Francis, with Jerome, our Archbishop, with his assisting bishops and the clergy, and with the entire people that your Son has gained for your own. And listen graciously to the prayers of this holy family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all of your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. For there we hope to enjoy forever with them in the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow upon the world all that is good. For it is through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, that all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. And so at the Savior's command, formed by that divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father. Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you. By peace I give you. Look not on our own individual faults and failings, but rather look on the faith of all of us together as your church. And so graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. God, you 
Take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. And behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. According to the uh, instructions I received, we cannot have birthday blessings next week. Mother's Day prevails over everything. <laughs> so we're going to ask if anybody is celebrating a birthday during this month, please stand. And we pray, loving God of all creation, we gather here in your presence. To pray for those who celebrate your gift of life and recall the day of their birth. May they always rejoice in your gifts of life, love, family, and friends. Bless them with your guiding presence. Surround them with your abiding love. May they enjoy many happy years upon this earth, all of them pleasing to you. And may they come someday to enjoy your loving presence in eternity. Pray from the book of the Hebrews. May the God of peace furnish you with all that is good, that you may do his will. May he carry out in you what is pleasing to him through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And I invite you all to stand for our prayer. Look with kindness upon your people, Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by these eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce... The gospel of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. alleluia, alleluia. Our closing song is number 540. Jesus Christ is risen today. 540. Jesus Christ is risen today, Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day, Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross, Alleluia, suffer to Praise, then let us sing 
Alleluia. Unto Christ our heavenly King. Alleluia. Who endured the cross and grave. Alleluia. Sinners to redeem and save. Alleluia. 